Today, I am doing the last of the summer manis, but I put a little twist on it and made it a nighttime under the sea mani. So let's get started on this and welcome to Jilly's Nails. We are going to start with Orly Bonder because I'm not doing all this work and not wearing it for a week. And Hollow Taco as a base coat. It'll be the last time you see that for a minute. Just for a minute. <laughs> It is a really, really nice one coat black polish. I'm not going to deny it. It is. It's just very pricey. And uh, these nails started shipping about three days into it. And normally for me, a manicure lasts about seven days. So that is something else to think about with the Hollow Taco is that it, it did that. And I am a Maniology affiliate. have to give that little disclaimer. If you use code JILLY10, you can receive 10% off of anything you purchase with my code. It does give me a little commission, gives you a little discount. So I'm going through with a Greyjoy, no, it's Stormcloud um, from Maniology. And what I'm doing is kind of making like a sandy ocean floor across uh, all the tips of my nails. I am doing this on both hands because like I said, I am wearing it. And I don't know, so you see this little trick right here? If you want to do a straight line you can just move your finger, like roll your finger along instead of trying to move the brush and that helps you keep it straighter. Tip I picked up from Robin Moses. And we have Grey Joy. And I am going to use that to go in. I have this old brush that I have. See, it's all frayed and yucky and blech. I'm going to use that with Grey Joy since it's lighter than Storm Cloud. And I'm just going to kind of dot in a little bit of texture over the area that I just did a French tip on. So you just kind of sporadically go through and the more frayed the brush is, the better. Like you don't want this to be perfect. You want it to be kind of just messy and all over the place. But do you see how it's given the background a little more texture? It looks a little more sandy now. It's one of the ways you can keep it from being flat. So again, I'm going to go through and do this across all 10 fingers just to make sure everything has a lot of texture and that it doesn't all look flat. Just as a side note, if I have to stop recording this voiceover one more time because my dogs continue to scratch themselves, I'm going to eat them. I'm going to cook them and eat them. Not really, but I like to threaten it. <laughs> That is what everything looks like with both of those texture coats and then a top coat. And I decided after I painted it that I wanted to go back in with the color Latte from also from Maniology and just kind of warm it up a little bit. Between the black and the two grays, it was just kind of very cool toned for me and I felt like it needed a little dab of warmth. So I put some Latte in, it's kind of a sand color. And as you can see, that kind of really lifted it. And I did go ahead and top coat all of that again. This is the manicure of the top coats, which is another reason why it irritated me that it started to peel in three or four days. Now, this is where this gets fun from the creativity standpoint maybe a little boring on video i'm not sure but what we're going to do is go through and just start grabbing some of these different images and layering them up on the on the nails um, again top coated everything before i started this i've talked about this before the reason that i do that is because if you make a mistake you can go in with a cleanup brush and wipe it off in fact if you look at my victoria nails video you can see me doing that or the victorian wallpaper now when you are making big scene designs like this, shadow and light and size make a huge difference in how this plays out. So I'm going in with these little dark gray sharks. It's going to kind of push them back into the background because they're smaller and dark and shadowed. I hope that makes sense. If it doesn't make sense, watch some Bob Ross videos. <laughs> I haven't said that in a while. Watch some Bob Ross. Um, and I'm just kind of, you know, I'm picking up more than one image at a time and just taking my time and only pressing off one image on each finger. So you see how they're smaller and they kind of just look like they're off in the background. Also, the higher up you put them on the nail, the more it will push things into the background. So if you make it darker, smaller, and shove it at the top of your nail, it looks like it's further away. I hope that helps. And I am doing that on all of these nails. 
Now there are some, I think this little seahorse, like I put that one a little bit closer up front. But basically what we're doing is kind of building a background. Like instead of doing a smush manny or instead of doing an ombre, we're building a background with the animals on the plates. This color is Poison. It's also from Maniology. It was in their little Christmas trio last year. They were red, blue, and green. I freaking love these colors. They look weird in the bottle. It kind of has a silvery texture through it. But in person, they are so pretty. Like, look how pretty that dried. And now I'm going to go in with Soft Sage and fill in the turtle. Here's the thing. I didn't go through and list all these colors individually on this because it doesn't matter. If you've got something that's similar to it that you can use, use what you have. Like, sure, I love it if you use my code. I make a little bit of money. You get a little discount, and that's all fine. But at the end of the day, we want to create nail art. So if you have a color that's similar to this and you're doing reverse stamping, you can use regular polish. You don't have to have soft sage. You can use something that's close to it. Let's get real. There's dupes everywhere. But look how freaking adorable that turtle is. He's precious. So we're putting the cap on him and setting him to the side to let him dry. And now I'm going to go in and grab these kind of like, I'm not sure if these are supposed to be angelfish or kissing, 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 kissing fish, kissing fish. <laughs> but I am picking them up with gray for the outline. The reason that I'm doing that, again, we're underwater. The background is black. The gray will actually make the fish show up on top of the black. So I am doing two of those. And I'm setting those off to the side to let them dry as well. And it all picked up really nice off this plate. Some of the very fine line images, like some starfish that I'm going to do. Um, a couple things, some of the anemones, anemones, they were, um, <laughs> I hate that word. There's a story about that word in my house. It has to do with my husband's rear end and, and what we called the ass anemone. If you want to know, let me know and I'll tell the story at some point. Otherwise, I'm going to keep it to myself. He might murder me for telling that story. <laughs> it's really funny though. Anyway, I'm going to go in now and again, I've picked up multiple images at once. I'm just some seaweed, you know, some like plant life that's growing and I'm just moving it around and how I place it on the nail. I'm picking up more than one image at a time. It makes your life so much easier on stuff like this. And like you can put part of it on one nail, part of it on another nail. You just have to be careful when you're placing it down. And so this is what we have so far. The darker fish in the background. See how the algae being lighter in the front, it's bringing it forward now. So the images are all starting to come forward and you're starting to see that depth. And this was one that didn't, it picked up fine. It just didn't look like I expected it to look, I guess is a good way to say it. I didn't test it out. I just thought, oh, it kind of brainy looking. I'll stamp it down. And it was very um, negative space, maybe. I don't know. It just wasn't what I expected. Didn't hate it. Didn't love it. I did some more over here. Some more of the anemones in the background. And then I'm going to put that turtle on my thumb. He's pretty big. Um, probably should have shrunk him down to use him on some fingers. But he ended up on the thumb. And I think he belonged there. It looks great. I love him. That's my favorite nail, I think. Although it kind of looks like he's pooping in an enemy, but whatever. A coral, pieces of coral, whatever. And now, now really what we're just doing is putting it all together. Everything that's been left behind, you know, you just kind of layer up what you want to layer up. Those are the starfish and they came out a little weird. Um, but whatever you want to layer in the front, you can do little fish, big fish, dolphins, whatever. Uh, the school's out collection is what I used to make these show up over black. Um, and I thought it came out really, really cute, really nice. See, there's my dogs making noise again. More starfishies. It's just layer, 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 but know when to stop. Like, don't overdo it. A couple pieces of plant, a couple fish couple little extra bonuses on there and it pretty much has you all lined out look at that and I was very much inspired by other people in the maniology group who did ocean underwater scenes but they had like whales in the background and all this stuff and I loved it but I thought how can I make that different and I think this definitely qualifies as different the nighttime fish I have never seen another manicure like this I've never seen anything close to similar to this and I'm kind of proud of myself for that
I'm going to stroke my own feathers. Or, you know, pet my own hair. But I just cut off nine inches of my hair. I cut it off. I had quarantine hair. It was making me crazy. The roots were showing. Look at that. That's everything all put together. Notice, like, I didn't put everything on the same nails. Like, I didn't make it matchy-matchy. I wanted it to look like an ocean floor with stuff just swimming across it. And I absolutely loved how this came out. Very proud of this one. It did take a minute, but I really hope you enjoyed it, too. Let me know what you think below. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.